let me give you a little bit of background on the Beagle Board itself. So the Beagle Board was targeted at, um, at community developers, um, making it something that's personally affordable um, for them, for, for people that are, are doing this as a hobby, uh, for people that uh, wouldn't necessarily, you know, pop down the, the 1500 on a, on a regular EVM or, or one of the more advanced development systems to try to give them as much uh, flexibility and capability as possible. So, so we made this uh, platform personally affordable, um, partially by doing a bring your own peripherals, right? There's very little uh, on the Beagle board, but it has a lot of expansion capability for, for you to, to bring in um, what you might want to do if it's your, your display or your Ethernet or your uh, mass storage or your cameras or, or anything like that. Um, and so we tried to, to just to keep it simple, keep it affordable as our, as our, our number one uh, objective to try to get it out into as many hands as possible so that you know, people doing this you know, not as part of their, their full-time job could afford to, to get into this. And it was also really critical for us to have a very active and uh, technical community. Um, and I think we've been pretty successful at that. There's uh, over 2,000 participants uh, on the mailing list today. Uh, if we look at the IRC channel, 52 people um, logged in. A couple of those are, are, are clones or are bots, but um, you know there's, there's significantly over 100, 100 people uh, on the IRC channel right now. Um, and a lot of those people are, are kernel developers. Um, they are uh, active in uh, other upstream projects. Um, so uh, it, this is uh, not just uh, people um, trying to um, you know, just uh, play movies, right? They're actually trying to do real software development, and, and, and um, uh, so it's not uh, a you know people using it as frisbees. Um, so I think that it's um, something that we've been pretty good on, pretty good about uh, drawing in some of the right people. I think by having the the Cortex A processor first on the market and having um, you know, the, the, the DSP capabilities and the 3D graphics were able to draw in a lot of uh, developers on this. Uh, um, and it's, it's very much n about not, um, not just being about what uh, you know, TI people are doing around the Beagle Board, but we try to do some stuff like this, uh, this lightning talks where, where it's open to the community. Um, you know, we try to, to give control over the Beagle Board community um, to those people that get involved, right, and, and give them ownership of it uh, and not to have folks at TI try to, to, to squash this or control this, right? So, you know, the, the primary wiki uh, for the Beagle Board is out on eLinux, right? It's something that's, that's not owned by TI. Uh, there's numerous blogs uh, that I bring into the, the RSS feed uh, whenever I see people mention things about the Beagle Board. Uh, and you know, try to promote the, the community activity, right? So it's, it's open for other people to um, promote their ideas and really take ownership of what the Beagle Board is. That's the, that's the intention. And also part of that is to have uh, open hardware with all the schematics, technical references out there, um, the, all the layout material, the, the layout information, the materials all being open to the to the public and being able to, to use it however you'd like. Um, and, and building off of uh, open software. So what role does uh, TI play in all this? Well, I think that if you attended uh, Bill Mills' presentation earlier about the, the community first uh, commercial complement strategy, uh, you heard about the, the you know, we have these uh, the Linux support packages um, from or, or PSPs um, that, that, that come from, from TI. Um, but you'll note that there's not one of those um, for, our, for the Beagle Board itself. Um, so this is not sort of an official TI-supported board um, in, in the traditional sense. Um, but instead, we are um, leveraging all of the OMAP3 um, peripheral contributions that are submitted to the upstream um, in our, uh, kernel development at kernel.org. Um, you know, we're able to, to use things like the, 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 the TI Arago project um, to build a file system for the Beagle Board and really rely on um, you know, uh, support coming from our commercial Linux partners and you know, providing them with, uh, with support uh, directly. And, 
if, you know, if you're familiar with the Monta Vista, Ridge Run, TimeSys, uh, Metro Graphics, and some of the other uh, commercial Linux pro uh, partners, you'll know that, um, that, they, that they provide um, more complete uh, tested packages than, than what uh, you'd get from, um, you know, from, from, from BeagleBoard.org itself. And this has resulted in a large number of things uh, being supported on the Beagle Board. You can find out about those by going and visiting uh, BeagleBoard.org slash media. You can see uh, a large number of uh, YouTube videos. Um, you can see uh, there's a, a Flickr group. Um, there's uh, lots of different ways where you can find out what, what people are doing. Uh, there's a, a project registration page at BeagleBoard.org um, slash project. Uh, anybody's welcome to register the project there, give them a link to, uh, to the home page where they're during their development, uh, provide an RSS feed. Um, I'll then uh, monitor that RSS feed and, and bring in uh, posts related to the Beagle Board and to the overall BeagleBoard.org RSS feed. And this has just resulted in some, some really fantastic projects being done. I've got the, the Angstrom Linux distribution, which has native support for the Beagle Board. Uh, Memo.org has released the, the Memo 5 uh, support for, for Beagle. Uh, of course, the FSMPEG project. Um, there's a software-defined radio project, such as Talks. Uh, there's uh, Android has been um, very popular um, on the Beagle board. Uh, there's also um, the, the canonical um, Ubuntu support that's going to be discussed uh, uh, later in one of these lightning talks as well. And lastly, I've got a slide. Um, the fifth slide here, which um, has a list of some resource links where you can find out some some more information about the, the Beagle Board. Uh, there's the UNX Wiki page. If you go to BeagleBoard.org slash resources, you can get out links to all of the, the, the TI uh, system reference manuals and technical reference manuals for the, for the device and, and, and um, um, about the board. Uh, there are pointers to, um, to, to the uh, upstream projects for the kernel and U-Boot. And there's links to third parties that provide additional value around the Beagle Board, um, different uh, events that have gone on, and, and other support forums. Um, there's the Embedded Systems Conference uh, a page at uh, BeagleBoard.org slash ESC that has some hands-on training. Uh, there's the chat, which brings you to the IRC channel um, that we're, we're here um, uh, having discussions on today. And of course, the mailing list. There's also an ETE um, support community um, at ete.ti.com, and that's really the best place if you're wanting to ask uh, detailed questions about the, the device itself, the OMAP 3530, where you can uh, look to get those those questions answered if you're not getting it out of the the Beagle mailing list. 